God bless you. Hey, good morning. It's Pastor Kerr from Christ United Methodist. Uh, with spiritual thought for Monday morning. Just wanted to talk a little bit about death because, yeah, it's it's that season. And the Bible says a lot about death. And, and we have things that we think about life after death, a lot of which don't come from the Bible. So this morning, I'm going to be talking about some of what resurrection is about. If you want to know more about that, then see the whole video on our Christ UMC Connect group or on our Christ UMC Lafayette uh, Facebook page or YouTube channel. But um, I hope that you have peace regardless. And I hope that you have the confidence that God is holding you and will take care of you even in the midst of death. So God bless you. The passage this morning is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through 18. It says, Brothers, we don't want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep, die, or to grieve like those who have no hope. We believe Jesus died and rose again, so we believe God will bring Jesus with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. The Lord himself will come down from heaven with loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. So this passage is one of my favorites. Um, N.T. Wright talks about this as a uh, symbolic and um, reflective of a Roman uh, honor parade where Caesar would come and the people in the city would come out to meet Caesar and parade Caesar into town. Um, a lot of people think that when God comes back, God's going to destroy everything and and... The apocalyptic literature of Revelation, we'll talk a little bit about that. But most of, of that is referring to something very different. And um, this is is talking about that God's not going to destroy the things that, you, that God made. God loves all of creation. And God is going to renew and restore it. And the day is coming when Christ will return and make all things right. And we who are alive will go and meet him in the air with all of those who have gone before us. And there will be a huge reunion. And we will return all to a renewed earth. I don't know exactly what it will be like. But what the scripture says is that that renewed earth will be a place of peace and of fullness and justice. And, and everybody engaged in, in life-giving practices. And God's not going to destroy everything, but renew it. And so all the things that you do that are uh, contribute and that resonate with the kingdom of God, all those things will last and be present in you and around you when the kingdom comes on earth as it is in heaven. That's good news. So here as this year winds down, my hope is that you will celebrate that God has hold of you and that at the renewal of all things, what you do matters. Thank you, God, for resurrection. So much better than uh, this idea of going to heaven and sitting on a cloud with a harp. Thank you for resurrection and renewing the earth and for using the things that we do to help build for your kingdom. Help us to do the things that resonate with your kingdom, the things that will last. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for being with me. I pray you have a great week.